Hello, everybody. I'm the Speedy Tweety. I'm on my way up to San Francisco, California, my hometown, to go film a whole slew of videos. So make sure to check them out. But anyways, I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. Yes, 4 a.m. I woke up with the sun. I'm Alejandro. Let's talk about cars, yo. Hit it, Pedro. Just kidding. But anyways, on this episode of the Speaky Guidi, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the five things I kinda hate about cars. And I know that's a really classic YouTube caption. The five things I hate about my car. Just trying not to be like Logan Paul. These are like some things that I hate about cars, about my car, about everything about cars. Just some things that I've picked up and I don't like. Before we do anything, let's pay homage to the great Avicii who passed away early this week. He was one of my favorite DJs. Levels is one of the best songs ever made. So let's just listen to the song and jam out just for a second. For Avicii, baby. <laughs> So anyways, let's get to it. One thing I hate about modern cars now is that they don't come standard with LED headlights. Take an Audi, for example, an A4, kind of one of the first cars to ever really bring LED lights to the masses. You see the A4 without LED headlamps, and it looks so bad. I mean, my GTI, here's a photo right now of a GTI with and without LED headlamps. Having LED lights just completes the look. Depending, one, it looks so much better than without them. Two, it's so much safer to be driving at night with LED lights than bulbs. And three, it's so much more efficient. I don't even know why cars have bulbs anymore. Why aren't all cars equipped with LED lights? If you can afford a German sedan, why not pay a little bit more to get the LED lights? It makes no sense to me, no sense. It's like buying a brand new suit, huh? Like a very nice suit, yeah? And then you go and put on some disgusting New Balance sneakers. Your suit looks great, but you ruin the look with the sneakers. Forget about it, I hate it. The next thing I wanna talk about are crossovers because crossovers are taking the nation by force. Crossovers are everywhere you look. They're selling like hotcakes. Nobody's buying wagons anymore. No one's definitely buying sedans anymore, that's for sure. But why? Why buy something that does two things half-assed? Nobody who uses a crossover uses it for off-roading. So why get an SUV in the first place? You want a hatchback to fit stuff, so just get a station wagon. Why need to, why, why do you need to be high up? Where did that come from? You know where that came from? I don't know where it came from either. You hear that say, you hear people saying that all the time. I hate the idea of buying a car to do both things and it doesn't do either thing great. I know, I know, not everyone can afford to buy two cars to do two different things. So why not just buy a crossover? It does both just fine. I don't really know where I'm going with that, but I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're trying to buy an off-road car, buy an off-road car. And if you're trying to buy a street car, like this GTI right here, buy a street car. It does its job just fine. It's a hatchback, so it's very versatile. It has a tiny engine, so it's very efficient and economic. And it's really fun to drive. Notice I didn't say it's good for off-roading. It doesn't have those capabilities. So when you take something that can do all those things plus off-roading, then it's diluting everything else. It's compromising in other words. So I hate it, I don't like it. Just pick one or the other. Next! Now I was gonna talk about custom exhaust systems that make a ton of noise and blow your eardrum out whenever someone drives by. But I'm on the i5 right now and we gotta talk about something because this is very important and you gotta listen up. If you're in the fast lane, the left lane, and someone is behind you and wants to go faster, the correct thing to do is to move over. Many people think that it's very rude to tailgate somebody when you're driving, but that's how the entire world does it. You get behind a car, you tailgate them for a second, and it tells them to move over. The guy moves over, the other guy speeds by, and then you can go back in the fast lane if you want. The fast lane should solely be for passing, and that is it. Get out of the way. Nobody in America gets that. It's so annoying, especially on the I-5, when everyone's going 80 miles an hour and then you hit someone who's going 70. Sorry, I just kinda had to go to mega rant there for a second, but I think uh, I think it's important. And if more Americans did what I'm saying to do, our highway systems would be so much more efficient and there would be way less traffic. But anyways, next, let's talk about badging. Badging has become really hot nowadays, especially with the German automakers, AKA AMG, M, 
RS. Any car nowadays has a performance badge slapped on, so people think that they're buying a really fast, cool car for way less money. Jerry Ray. Let's take the AMG C43, for example. It's a fast car. I've driven it. It's fast. Is it an AMG? No. People buy the hell out of the thing just because it says AMG. It kind of dilutes the whole model range for the actual performance cars because everybody everybody can get an M car now. I think that more cars need to be special and have special badging. If that's why you buy, that's why you pay the premium. Um, let's give a call to one of my buddies, David. Let's see what he's up to. Dave, you're on the air, Speedy Gweedy episode. How you doing? You know, uh, funny enough, I'm putting some chapstick on. I was in the sun this week. And my uh, my lips got a little bit chapped, so I'm uh, sitting at my desk. Putting some chapstick, loving life. Dude, that's dope. Have anything to say to the viewers right now? Um, yeah, I have a few. Uh, first of all, not going to follow Speedy Gweedy on all social media outlets. That's what I'm uh, talking about. It's a long time play, and uh, it's gonna blow up any time. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and then two, it's the same first class. Um, yeah, that's about it. Dude, fire flame, dude. I think, I, I think I'm think i gonna get a uh, uh, Adidas track suit. I like, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna do it. That's, I'm so excited. You should go uh, all in one color. Yeah, I'm going all red for sure. Like, and then, and then maybe even dye your mustache for that. I don't know. <laughs> wig for sure too. Wig definitely. Yeah, you don't think I'm wearing a wig, you are really mistaken. Dude, I totally agree. 100%. But hey Dave, I'll let you get back. I'll let, I'll let you get back to work. Thanks for being on the show. You're the first speaky weedy guest ever. So tell your friends, hide your kids, hide your wives. Cause they're doing something bad out here. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you. Alright, bye. And I think with that, I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to like, subscribe. And hey, you know, check out the Instagram, please. I've been on 1,185 followers for about two months now. I don't know why. I'm posting some fire flame photos out there, folks. Okay. Give me a like. Give me a follow. I'm just like you guys. I just like cars. And I just want to be super famous and have like 10 million cars. Is that so much to freaking ask for? I'll see you guys soon. Check you later.